Hi, Joanna. Welcome to your tutorial on how to add podcasts to the Future Primitive site. To start with, you log in. This is the URL. You just add WP admin to the end of futureprimitive.org, and then you'll have to log in with your login and password. Um, I'll put those in your email. So, first, log into to your WordPress site just to make sure you, you have access to it. And next, launch Transmit. That's the, the program that looks like a truck, right? And I've already connected to your Libsyn server with your login and password. And we need to go to your QuickCast directory. So what I do is I you click into Future Primitive, and you go to QuickCast. And this is the folder where you go to upload an MP3 that you intend to um, feature on your website. So I've already got a folder on my computer where I have your tutorial MP3. And notice that I've named it F. I, I, there's no spaces in it and there's no strange symbols. It's just uh, letters and numbers. And sometimes if you need to, for example, a dash or an underscore you can use and it should end in .mp3. You don't want this to have things like, for example, space, or especially colons. That'll just, that'll mess everything up. So just use hyphens and underscores if you like, okay? And as a convention, it looks like we're putting the show number in here. Anyway, you've got your mp3, right? And this is the quick cast folder. And you can just drag it from here into here and that's going to start uploading it. You can see down here it says that it's uploading and it's got about two minutes remaining. I'll fast forward this video to save us some time. Okay, with the magic of video editing, we are done uploading. So now you have this new file in QuickCast. So now that you've uploaded the MP3 to Libsyn, the next step is to create a new post in WordPress that refers to this file. So here's what you do. Go back to your dashboard, and here under posts, you just say add new. Here's where the title of your post goes. All right. And notice that once you click somewhere else, it creates a permalink this is the URL for the interview. You can leave it exactly as is, but what some people do is they edit it to make it a little shorter or a little more search engine optimized by including important words. Um, I'm going to shorten this a little bit to say, instead of training interview, I'll just call it interview with Canton Becker. This is totally optional, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And now there's about four things we have to do. We need to put in the show description here. We need to categorize it and tag it here. And then we need to specify where the MP3 is. Okay, so let's just put in some silly Latin text. All right, this is going to be the interview text. You probably have this in a Microsoft Word document. And remember, any time that you copy and paste from Microsoft Word or something, don't just paste it in here. First, you know, copy it to your clipboard, and then click this button here that says Paste from Word, and then paste your content in here and hit the Insert button. This is enormously important, because if you just paste right into this window without first clicking this button, Sometimes hidden codes get copied over from Microsoft Word or from web pages that break everything. And a quick review of other things you can do in here. Let's say you want to link to someone's website. You can say, click here to visit Canton's website, and then highlight it, and click this link button, and type in the person's website. All right, maybe I'll put this on its own line. So, we've got a title for the interview, we've got the description. Let's scroll down a bit here. Let's do the right-hand side now. We need to set categories and tags. 
What this refers to is, let me open up the live website for us. Topics means tags. Collections means categories. All right, and it's two ways to organize your uh, your posts. Most of your posts will just belong to guy logs and then some number of tags, right? But sometimes you'll create, for example, a new collection called Bioneers 2013 or something, right? All right, so let's go back here. I'm just going to tag this uh, or categorize this as guy logs, so that puts it into the guy logs collection. And most importantly, I'm going to choose some of the common tags to put in here. For example, this is going to be about futurism and eco-psychology and mysticism. And notice it puts them up here. You can always type in new tags here, but sometimes it's easier to select from this list. So we have a title. We have a description. We have a category, which means collection. We have some tags, which are the topics. Now for our final steps. We have a few custom fields we have to set up here. First of all, specify the interviewee. This is the most important one to remember. Interviewee is Canton Becker. Then click Add Custom Field. And also specify the show number, just for fun. This is show number 303. Final step, podcast episode. The media URL. Let's look at the name of that MP3. This is the name of the MP3, so I'm going to just copy and paste that into here. But it's not quite right, because we have to specify that it's at Libsyn. And I have a clipboard here and I'll have this in your email. This is the URL you need to know before you can create the media URL. The media URL is traffic libsyn.com future primitive slash and then the name of your mp3. So I'm going to paste that in there and it's always the same beginning followed by the name of your mp3. All right. And to make sure that you type this in correctly, tap the verify button. And that means that you typed in everything correctly, that you correctly uploaded it to Libsyn. And you'll notice here that it even figured out that the duration was 35 minutes and 32 seconds. And fundamentally, you're done. That is a complete interview. The only thing I would add to this is it's often nice to have a, a picture, right? So uh, here's how you do it. You put your cursor at the beginning of this word, of the first word, and you click the Upload Insert button. I find the easiest way is just to drag the file of the JPEG from your desktop onto here. So I've got a picture here to use. So I'll just drag this in here. and it uploads the image and this is actually a pretty big image it's 300 pixels wide that's that's about like mm, an image that's about that big right um, but if we go down here we can tell it that we only want this to be a thumbnail image just a 100 by 100 image right and for the alignment we want it to be on the right side we don't want it to be left or in the center we want this to be aligned to right and make sure where it says link URL that it's that it's blank if it shows you something like this, click the None button. Otherwise, when you click on the picture, it'll take you somewhere. So we uploaded the image, selected Right, selected Thumbnail, and click Insert into Post. And there it is. Now we hit Publish. And it should be live on the website. I'm going to refresh the home page. There we go, July 18th, interview with Canton Becker. There's my little picture. 
and if I hit this play button, it should start playing the MP3 that I uploaded. That's it. Um, if you need to fudge the date here because you didn't really post it on the 18th, you can go back to edit your post and here it says published on and you can edit it and change it to July to the 17th for example um, and update it. Or this is kind of nice. For status, let's say you wanted to prepare an interview ahead of time but you don't want it to go live on the website. You can set the status to draft and hit update. What that means is you've done all the work but if you look at the website, it's not there. And when you're ready to publish it, you just go to your list of posts on the website, and you see where it says draft, you float over, you can say quick edit, and look at that, change the status to published, update, and now it's live. Um, and more importantly, I'm going to put this in the trash now. There you go. So that's it. That's how you add um, new shows to the website. And notice that this whole time we've been working within posts and not pages. But if you do want to edit a web page on your site, this is where they are. If you click on the list of all pages, this is where you can fool around with the About Joanna page or the Donations and Support page, that stuff. All right. I hope this was helpful. I'll have some uh, helpful details in your email as well. Have a good week.